All right, someone made it over. Well, <clears throat> that video will have to be there. I'll just delete it and put it back up and do it again. But meanwhile, I got this crazy orb again. And I'm putting some music up. Welcome, 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 everybody. Sorry about all that craziness, you know, how YouTube is. Welcome, 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 everybody. I'm not going to try to go over to that other room and get everybody out of there. They'll figure it out, right? So when he goes over to the other room, they can tell everybody the live show's on. Because I'm not going to kick back. I want to show the goods. Let's put a filter on that there. Let's make it cleaner here. How crazy is that, right? Oh my gosh. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I shut my video down, so I decided to jump over here and show you this planet. Hey, hey. Good night, sweetie. My dog and my wife are going to bed. They're the smart ones. Welcome to C for all channel. If you haven't subscribed, do so. Thumbs up. This is not an orb from the sun reflection. This is not a lens flare. This is a UFO because we don't know what it is. It's probably Isto or, let's see, let me too loud. It could be Isto. Um, could be Rekachina, they call it also. Everybody doing good tonight? Here they come. Because... Well, since this is gonna fly in the air tonight, I, I've been recording this since it was, sun was coming up. And the sun sim literally almost looked like it blew up. <laughs> so welcome everybody. Let's watch the donut planet tonight. Hey, Sarah, you made it. Can you hear me okay, guys? Good. I noticed on the other video last night, uh, in the beginning, I was talking real low, probably. And the music was loud, so I'm trying to keep the music lower. Thank you, thank you. You guys are like the uh, resistance, you know, they're watching us what we're doing and we're showing what they won't tell us about. Now see down here guys, the water, see this thing reflecting off the water? That might be a reflection from the sun sim. I think this is a lead craft and I did forensic on a, a couple different locations with the same red thing and it looks just like, you know, like a flat orb. I don't think it's a planet. I think it's that flat orb. And this one, uh, as the night goes on, you'll watch it. It's going to get a nice little big hole in it. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This is all cell phone to PC. Don't mind my old school. Gets the job done, right, guys? That good? There we go. I'll give you an x ray. This is a pretty good little x ray right there, guys. Thank you, Dr. Nyrene. Sarah, what's up? Ain't that a trip? So you can see the bottom one is something solid. This is uh, the haunted x-ray mode, I call it. And so the donut planet, the red planet Istum, or Rekachinum, they might call it, you know. It's uh, it's all real, folks. This ain't just a sun sim, I mean, reflection, I don't think. I think it's something solid. Um, like I say, if they shut me down, I don't know. It's the Lord they haven't shut me down. I give God all the glory because I've showed some radical stuff in 800 videos. I mean, videos. 
I showed some radical stuff. And the only reason I think I'm not shut down is because Jesus don't want me shut down. Hi, Marilyn. I'm glad you found us over here. We're just, we're just hunting for Nibiru all the time, you know? I do this on my own, and I take pictures, so why not just have you guys hang out with me? I recorded this uh, for like an hour and a half, so I got a time lapse on it. And then I got the other video the other night and about 50 shots of it, so I'm going to do a little forensic show on it. I hope they don't shut me down. I enjoy this too much, you know? Even the trolls stop bothering me. They know they can't figure it out. It looks too real. They can't figure out how I'm doing it. <laughs> one guy one guy told me I made the planets. I was a false prophet. He says, you're making those planets. Yeah, I think this is a mechanical thing. Let's check out this view. Look at that, guys. Hi, Michael. What's up? You guys, when you come on, tell us if your weather's all freaky or what's going on in your area. If it's just normal, it's thumbs up. <laughs> if it's freaky, let us know. You're welcome. Hey, the Lord told me to do this June of 2017 or May 29th. After I had a vision, I said, okay, and I've been doing it every day. I mean, I think I took six days off the whole, the whole time. <laughs> I'm addicted or I'm anointed. I don't know. Yahoo. Yeah, we're freaking out the trolls because, you know, they, they just sit there and they go, wait a minute, maybe this is real. Okay, that's a fun filter. And I make it lighthearted because this is way too serious to get all aggro about it and scared. No fear in Jesus' name. Yeah, the Lord did that to me, anointed my mouth. He told me, you be careful, we use a new threshing instrument having teeth. It's a sharp, oh, look at that, look at that sun sim activity. I'm glad it did that because I got such a good sun sim blast before that it covered the whole sky like a plasma burst. It was a sun sim turning up and down. So the only reason they let me do this even is they want me to do it. Because it's so unreal looking, most people are going, oh, it can't be real. I mean, I watch it and go, it can't be real either. You know, I'm like, serious, God, serious. This is a trip. I'm gonna go through some filters. Sarah knows, I get rambling. I got a glass of water tonight, so I'm gonna go. Well, you know, um, I believe I'm one of the new type of evangelists, prophetic evangelists. I know I've been called since 1992 as a prophet. I never made it into an office of a prophet, but on the streets, I was a prophet too, you know, it's like, so I did a lot of ministry for about the last 15 years on the streets house church, homeless people, anybody I could find, tell them about Jesus, feed them, clothe them. Oh, man. Tonight, I'm trying not to crash the phone or anything, but if I do, I'll always come back if it's really good. I like this filter, guys. Thumbs up. It's 12 to 4. The viewers are winning. I'm losing. No, the reason I get on the thumbs, thumbs up thing is because it causes the algorithms to push your videos up. So the more you guys do comment, uh, chat, send, tweet it out, it makes the algorithm spike. And when it happens, it could be like a thousand people could see this in like an hour, 2000. You know, I've seen channels going like 1600 hits a minute or something on live. So they're censoring me, they're hiding my stuff, they won't let my hits go. They're scared, I'm showing too much. Yeah, if I do coffee, I'm gonna be doing this at seven o'clock in the morning. I'll be over there in, I'll be over there in Massachusetts watching that alien spacecraft cloak into the clouds, which is pretty trippy. They won't let me in that site no more, they shut it down. That was a bummer. That was a good sight, too. And so far, this is my best one. I'm going to call it Tequila Sunrise. <laughs> so would you guys prefer me to be more professional? Like today, we're looking at Istum, the third planet 
of the Planet X system. Yo, but I don't like that show. It's boring. <laughs> Amen, yeah. So I got joy. I have a gift of joy, guys. And I've actually had people say, stop it. You're doing this, Chris. And I know how to release this. So I release joy on you guys. You'll hear me laugh. Look at the right of the sun, guys. Look at the right of the sun. There's, I don't know if you can see it on... You can't see it on the... You can see it on the laptop, but you can't see it on... Um, it's a spacecraft coming right out. Let me see if I change the filter and you can get it. Let's try the original filter. Let's see, maybe I'm not high enough. Look at right there. There's a spacecraft just came out of the sun. That is not a laser. That is a UFO. I've caught these like five times. It's a flat UFO, and it looks like a, a light beam or something coming out of the sun, but it's bull. Because, see how slow it moves? It's just kind of sneaking around. You guys see that? Am I crazy? Right underneath the date. <laughs> Thank you. The, okay, right underneath the address there, it says C-S-C-E-S-T. It just, it just vanished. Now, if there's one, there's going to be more. Now, I didn't believe in UFOs. The Lord, me and, had a, me and the Lord, Father, Jesus, everybody, we all had a really good conversation about these UFOs. And um, you guys have heard of Samuel Hoffman and his whole model, right? So this is my thing. I'm going to just be open-hearted here, right? So I'm starting to do this, and I'm about six months into it, I find Samuel Hoffman's model. Right? So I find his model. and But the thing was, he talked about aliens abducting them. I didn't believe in UFOs yet. Never mind aliens. I'm two years into this thing almost. So I asked the father. I said, Lord, I said, God, I need to know. Is this guy wackadoo or is he real? He says, well, did you hear the testimony? They couldn't put him to sleep. So they had, went ahead and downloaded all this stuff into his understanding. Awake. They talked to him about it. And he says, and how do you know? They were not angels sent by me in a spacecraft because that's what he could understand. And I said, wow. So then I started watching the skies and everything that he shows, I've found dozens of times. And so people have telescopes and they say it's here, it's there. You'll see it ripping through the sky with tails. This is all part of the deception for me. This is if it's a UFO, if it's an actual planet, it doesn't matter. Signs in the skies. And, uh, some of us are way demonic. <laughs> Anyways, that's my take on that. So Samuel Hoffman, as far as I'm concerned, I don't care about his UFO story. I think his model is pretty close to what's happening. These planets are way too big. And the, uh, Troll Slayer sent me one photo. And he said, you see the planet in front of the moon? And I did. But I took it. I took everything off of guys. And there's three planets around the moon. There's a striped one, a white one, and a black one. And that's my next show. It's like eight minutes just filtering that thing. If they'll let my channel stay up, and I say in the name of Jesus, they can't take it down. God opens doors that no man can shut, and he shuts doors that no man can open. He has the heart of the king in his hand. He turns it whichever way he wants. Whichever, whichever way he wills. So if they can't shut my sight down unless he wills it to happen. I declare it and decree it in the name of Jesus. So there, Sarah, I know you agree. What'd you say, Sarah? Say that again or put it back up again. Oh, stuff flying around, birds or something. Is this music good? So I don't know. On the cell phone, I can see stuff flying around, but on the laptop, I can't. So you guys think they're all birds? See those little black things flying? Okay, so you guys that are new here, let me take you here. Uh, might be some technical difficulties getting there. Nope, not at all. Here guys, this is Stalden. This is a little church up in the Alps. And look what we got there. This is not Photoshop. This is actually on the website, guys. I like this music. Okay. 
<laughs> Jesus got your attention to me. Jesus got my attention to this, guys. You know, I wrestle with this stuff because, look, you know, all my friends are like, you're nuts, Chris. There's no Planet X. I said, you tell me, look at that. My friend didn't want to look at this for two years. He finally went on and he said, I don't think you're crazy no more. I said, what'd you do? He goes, I watched a few of your videos. I don't think I want to watch anymore. <laughs> well, you got to think about it. You're going along in life. You're preparing your retirement. You're going to your vacation places every year, every day. And all of a sudden, you watch this video. And you know in your heart, this thing is real. This dude's not lying. It's too anointed to be lying. Hi, Maximus. We're showing the incoming um, wrath of God, the wrath of the Lamb, it's called in Revelation. First three and a half years. Yeah, it is, but you know something? You've got to pray for your enemies. That's all. But doing that, you cover your own heart. You just pray for them that they meet Jesus because God loves them too, even the devils, you know, like these people that are not like devils in our politics politicians and all that you know but we're in the commandment to pray for our enemies so you know that's the best you could do but look at do you guys think that's another planet underneath that because this thing's been in the air for a long time and it's getting bigger hey stella core what's up i haven't gotten anybody's email in like two days so forgive me um but this thing is sobering right here this is the days Okay, I'm going to take you guys. If you haven't been here, you'll like this. See if I can get my, my deal to work properly. So I'm going cell phone to laptop. And I won't be this way for soon. I think I'm going to actually get some money in so I can find me this program. This thing, stop giving me a hard time. Okay, guys, it's giving me a hard time. Not for long. Okay, I'm going backwards on this day. I think that's the one. Yeah, this is the same one from yesterday, guys. And just keep watching. It's pretty cool looking. There's something right there if you don't see that. I didn't notice that yesterday, but this is um, 415 installed in the Alps. Yeah, Melon. I mean, absolutely. Check this out. I'm going to blow it up on the right side there. You can't see it. You, you can see it on the laptop, but look at this thing. Do not be deceived. That is not just a cloud. So installed in is 8,000 feet up. So it's like this, this is the place. If you don't believe, you come here and you look for a couple days, and then you start repenting really hard. Like, God, am I ready? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is insane right so and I show this place I like going here live with you guys because it's so surreal looking even with the cheesy shot I got you know I can control the gamma right so I'm trying to bring it up so it's not so gammed out but um now the other planet over there is still I think the sun simulator is going to fail on that other planet I think something else is going to show up Hey, watch. I'm going slow just to anticipation. Hey, if we're going to be honored by God to come watch the incoming Wrath of the Lamb, whenever it's supposed to happen, it will. Um, he told me to watch it and show you guys and tell him that, tell him that he, loves, he loves you and he's thinking about you and he keeps me up. <laughs> he says, go show him, Chris. Tell him I love him. Look at that. I love you, Jesus, for putting this up and telling me you love me. That's as real as you can get on international TV, guys. <laughs> this is Stalden. Um, I'll put the address up on this little clip I got so you guys can go and the address of the other ones. Now remember, sign up, subscribe, and come back, watch this. But you guys go look at the feeds. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to you in a minute here. Okay. 
The other cam we're looking at is an ESME cam. It's that first, that bottom one. And this is a uh, Insider. I'm gonna pull it up so you guys can write it down or type it out. So you got the same scenario here, guys, too, you know? Um, I'm trying not to cut that off. I like this music, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. They are the wizards. Okay, so that's the for insiders.com slash the webcam, you know, slash the webcam stalled in 1480, 14809 stalled webcam. There you go. So I want you guys, you know, if you guys want to donate or anything, a love offering or whatever to my ministry or Watchman's ministry, you can. I'm just going to buy new equipment and I. I want to put something on the sky 24-7 in my in my backyard because it's insane. So there's my PayPal, you know. This thing is sobering right here, this Stalden thing. Very sobering. And when I first started watching this, you didn't see shots like this a year ago at all. This is just, like, like you said, a Wizard of Oz here. I see how it has a little orb thing too, but see how the ray goes like this, okay? And then you got this little orb down here. Well, this one always travels together. It's off-centered from that ray, so I'm not gonna call it a lens flare. I wanna call it a, like a moon. And, you know, for a long time I was like, that's just a lens flare. No, I don't think so. Watch this. You stay in bliss. You just stay there, girl. Cross over past the veil. So this is me doing like virtual reality church. Here you go, guys. This is like, talking about the truth. Virtual reality. Now don't be fooled. Some of these rays are just light rays. And some of these rays, you'll see them move real slow. They're ships. Well, you know, I mean, someone can come in here and say this is all lens flares, but I'm going to show you filters that, you know, makes you think twice before you say that. And nothing's fake. It's real time, right? And so truth hurts, you know? So what I do is I laugh, Sarah. Oh, see, this one refreshes itself, too. So just hang tight. But thank you. That's actually a compliment. I, I like that guy, Moferble. How do you say it? Moferble. So I got people saying, well, you're a false prophet. You're calling down the planets. Come on. Give me a friggin' break. I'm trying to pay my rent. If I can call down planets, it wouldn't be that hard, you know? So, <laughs> you know, I'm calling down planets, Sarah. Oh, my God. I don't want to have that dream. Hey, who's this? Dr. Four added, hey, welcome, welcome, subscribe. I know you new people because I've never seen your names before. Okay, so we're going to roll back to our planet. Okay, so I'm going to take you to, I'll take you on journeys. You guys don't care where I take you, right? You know, you trust me. <laughs> I'll take you to a blizzard. I'll take you to the blizzard that morning. And it seems like a nice morning. So, the show must go on. Let me give you a better filter. Here we go. Nah, yeah, that's too purple. Let's give you this. Kind of normal. Okay? Normal's not good. Okay, so a little bit of chemtrails to start the day. Look at that cloud. Anybody see my cloud video today? I scared the socks off of me doing it. I mean, I felt the presence of God doing that video. You see that face? Uh, I won't go there. I don't have my pointer up. I could put my pointer up tonight. But these are just clouds, right? And watch. 
These clouds are very revealing. But watch, see how I got the blue? So you'll see lighter blue and darker blue. Filters reveal everything. You change the light spectrum so you can see better. But anyways, as a prophet, believe it or not, I dream like this kind of colors, you know? Herb, what's up, what's up? So, if you guys know any coders that want to build me a virtual reality room, or like, it could be anything. I could turn it into the Alps, I could turn it into space. I'm going to do a virtual reality church. Jesus said, go into a new form. Yeah, so I'm going into a new form. I'm already going into a new form, I guess, right here, a new platform of presenting Jesus. So I got my heads in the clouds, and there's an eyeball right there. I don't know if you can see it. No fear. This is like, not the debriefing, but the briefing before the incoming. <laughs> Look at this stuff, guys. It's just clouds, but, you know, Jesus said, what did he say? Look up to the clouds. The way I left is the way I come back. So what if we're doing this, and all of a sudden, just like the trumpet blows, the crowds split, and we got it in real time, and we're gone. And then the, the, the camera's just sitting here for like all day, you know? Like, what's up with Fernald? Well, he's gone. The UFO took him. <laughs> That's what some people believe. Believe me, Jesus is very real. Very real, guys. Anyways, so I don't know if anything's going to pop up, but this is how active this place is. You can just cruise through quickly, and then all of a sudden... There's more chemtrails, which tells you what? What do they want to hide? So, anyways, that's good clouds, though. So let's go back up to 14. See the little red object. I can't wait to the three days of darkness because it's Isaiah 60 is going to happen, I believe, like in glory of God's going to cover the earth to Christians. I believe it's going to be so, so dark. I don't think electronics or anything is going to be on. I've heard the word too many times confirmed. I don't know when it's going to be. I know they're trying to fight it with the Sun Sims. Hop on, kids. Yeah. <laughs> Now, has anybody ever seen their mansion or asked God about their mansion? Or have you even gave any kind of details on what your mansion you'd like to see in your mansion? No. Just food for thought. Okay, so let's see what we can find here. I'm trying not to go too fast. Got a little storm. A blizzard, actually. Tree house. That's a little church of so 1700 population. And this little church, they got a lot of people that go to this little church here, which I think is ironic. This is a church. And these people sit around at the picnic tables in the spring and watch the evening sun with planets in it. And it's like normal for them. Yep. So that's the end of that day. Let's jump down to 10. I haven't been to a lot of these right here. When I need planet footage, I come here. And I do the updates because it does change sizes and this is all blah. Okay, let's go back over to uh, this guy. technical difficulties, but 
You know, when you sit around, it talks about this. I, I don't know the scripture where it's at, but it says in the the book of remembrance, when you sit around and talk about Jesus, like even like this, just sit around, chat side around Nibiru, Istum, Nemesis, you know, Jesus loves you. Our names are being written in the book of remembrance. We're watching Planet X talking about Jesus. Um, not, I don't know. I didn't get no scripture from you, from Antichrist. Are you saying that you got a scripture from Antichrist? And are you saying, hey, Ray, why don't you put it up on the screen? Can you do that? Yeah, Sarah, that's it. The book is called a book of remembrance. And I believe um, there's a mystery about that book. I don't know, but I believe it's good. Really good. Okay, it's time for close-up. Not that close. There's the hole in the planet again. Yes, yeah, Satan does know his home. Okay. So, Ray, I'll get it later. Is there a comment? I'll get it later, okay? You see that thing flipping around it? That white thing speck? Doesn't music remind you of like Art Garfunkel or something? But it ain't him. Just kind of like it. Huge plan coming. Okay, you have a good night, Dr. Four added. Moody Blues. No, it's not the Moody Blues. It kind of, yeah, it kind of sounds like the Moody Blues. I haven't heard, even heard that name in 20 years. Probably 30 years. I used to listen to all that. Uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, and all that stuff. I love that kind of music. Pink Floyd and all that. Happy Easter. Okay. I just start daydreaming. So then I'll be watching something like this, and then I just start like daydreaming. How's that for mystical? Yeah, they did. Huh? They turned me into stargazing. Now, I used to, I was the guy that couldn't fly a kite. And when I watched the meteor storm, there'd be no meteors. I'd watch all night, freeze to death. No meteors, no meteors. I finally gave up. And then God says, hey, go show them Planet X. I'm like, what's Planet X? <laughs> I wasn't familiar yet with it two years ago. June, two years ago. Guy. How you doing? Okay, we need some fire on this picture. There you go. Better. I think the specks of dirt are like retro looking. <laughs> I don't think this thing is just an orb. I think it's, it's a planet. I think it's a UFO type thing structure. So what about the two witnesses, Ray? What do you think's happening with the two witnesses? I pray he does. I hope he does. I'm eager for him to come. I could bypass, you know, whatever this stuff is it's going to do to the earth. This pole shift, earth rigs, days of darkness, earthquakes, tsunamis. Fireballs, hailstones, hundred pound hailstones coming down. I could, I could put that. Crawl away from the 
Yeah, since I started doing these live streaming, Sarah, my watch time has gone to like 70%. And even like, uh, I guess replay returns gone up a lot. So, but they keep censoring, shadow banning. It's like I'm not even getting hits. Or I'm getting them, they're not showing me the hits. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think about the two witnesses. I figure if I'm here, I'll see them. Thank you, Sarah. I believe that. I come in agreement. Yeah, 19 people, 20 people are watching. Last night, it got to like, I think about 80 people at one time on my end. But when I, as soon as it went off, it was like 475 people viewed it. So some people watch for a little while and they just jump off. And then three people jump on, two people jump off. It don't matter. As long as they hear Jesus on here, I'm happy. And, of course, a little red planet helps some. It's a good bait. I love this music right here. This is like a Christian techno band I got free somewhere and I don't remember. Yeah, better. Censored things to years. Yeah. Well, the other the other movie is if, if it's still frozen, I'm just gonna delete it and re-upload it. It's not something that happened. I had it up already. I put it up again because it went off so good in March. I said there's a lot of new people on my channel that might not know where to find that, and then I just put it back up, and they censored it. So. What I think they're getting mad at me because I'm putting so much good footage up back to back. Even the stupid clouds in my backyard, some of them are phenomenal looking. It's like you can see the whole system moving in. That's what I'm showing. I got four more of those pictures to put up for my backyard videos. So probably tomorrow. I'm not trying to overload you guys. Don't you like the flags dancing? I think that's way cool. Got the three dancing flags. Hierarchy. Let me see you come in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the score is 24 watchers, 18 thumbs up. So either at this point, I either say they didn't like the music or or scared the heck out of them. Or the hell out of me. Now, I've been watching uh, rap, <laughs> rap the news. <laughs> Gotta love his passion. You people gonna burn. You people gonna burn. You used to get your hearts right. And he goes, let's rap the news. I love it the way he ends it. He goes, rap the news. <laughs> but he shows some good stuff, though. Pretty freaky. Three pitches in it. I'm not getting it. Oh, I'm not getting it because I'm not even on the same chat. You guys are like four blocks down. <laughs> Sorry. I'm still trying to learn how to chat. I'm old school. We used email and, and uh, <laughs> we didn't use email. We used, um, what do they call them? Beepers. If I didn't have Jesus, I'd be lost so bad. Some birds just dancing to you. There you go, guys. I'll give you a shot like that. Oh, that. I 
I don't know how I got so good with the filter like this. It seems to be a gift. Like a TRB in the middle of that thing. Come on. Hey, doctor, I thought you were going home. Or going to sleep, you're running out of batteries. Was that you? Looks like you're captivated by this craziness. I know that filter's awesome, in it? See that little, like, triangle? It's kind of turning. It's already turned a lot. And so maybe the whole thing's turning. Like I'm in the 60s, back in the 60s, doing something that I shouldn't be doing. Hey, Julie, welcome Arizona in the house. I know that's all from a cam. I'm telling you, Sarah, is this a gift of what? How could I do this? <laughs> what in the world am I doing? Now that is not in this camera. It's just an angle I caught or something. Try it again. So what we have here is the failure to communicate to the public the intentions of mass atmospheric aerosol injections. We don't mean to kill the people. We're just trying to make the bet the weather better. That's why it's global warming. I like that shot, guys. You know, that's a double thumbs up on that shot. That's the Donut Planet, live on Seafernal Channel. I know, we were talking about that last night. You know, Herb? It was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know I had this kind of artistic ability. I played a flute. I should play my flute one night. Look at that triangle in the middle. You see the triangle? Freaky. TRB3, for sure. Something going on up there. Thank you, Julie. Yeah, make sure they ring the bell and check it often because right now I think I'm averaging about 12% notifications that are working. That's it. It tells me on my, my stats. So that's okay because I send it out like eight different platforms. So you guys are on Facebook for me or Twitter, Twitter, um, You'll always get notified that I'm putting stuff up because I put it up Facebook first thing. My Facebook is C for an all channel. That's all you got to just throw that in. You'll find me. And I don't do a lot on Facebook. I go on there a couple times a week. I'll dump a bunch of pictures sometimes. A lot of pictures. I'll dump pictures that I turn into videos, but you never see them as just a picture. So, and then I put stuff on their um, post, create a post on your like if you looked up on your YouTube right now. Did they go see I'm, I just monetized probably like four months ago and that's kind of a joke. Um, but they gave me a lot of hard times on some videos recently. And I think they're trying to build a case so they can shut me down. But I say in the name of Jesus, they can't shut me down. He opened the door and no man can shut it. And no man can open it unless he wants it open or shut. That's what I believe. And the filter really tunes this thing up, guys. Yeah. I wish the FAA, FAA cams were real time. They would be amazing. Have you guys been up to the, like, all the ALP cams? Um, they're called wetter cams, I think. So welcome you new people, this is what we do. We sit by the fire of Nemesis and we chat about Jesus and the return of the Father's Son for his bride. We just open, love Jesus in public. He says you'll know them by their fruit. And what's that fruit? I think it's the fruit of love. I think when you get to heaven, God's gonna be standing there, Jesus will be standing there and says, did you love? You'll be going like, no, I was mean. Get in the other line. No, I don't think that. But uh, 
It'd be terrible if it was like that. No. But look at this thing. It's not the best capture yet, Sarah. There's things moving around inside that circle. Yeah. You know, I'm sitting here, guys, and sometimes I'm on the same three messages, and all of a sudden it rolls up, and I miss like eight messages. So I think they're messing with it, right? Yeah, this thing is a donut planet. I have uh, named one of my planets from Africa the Bagel X planet, and this one I call it the Red Donut Planet. <laughs> Ain't nothing serious here, but Jesus. <laughs> it's, it's a joy. It's a joy to the Lord. So don't, you know, be nice. So I told you, Sarah, I get, you see, I get all giddy and like, I get drunk in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Doctor, doctor, I'll call you. Doctor, doctor. Yeah, so if I had a coder that could build a virtual reality program, I'd open the doors for church and virtual reality, and I'll tell you, it would be amazing if I could have pictures like this in 3D and virtual reality with standing on a beach talking about Jesus, preaching the gospel. Yeah. Okay, guys, here comes the planet on the left. Planet alert. Whoa. The technical difficulties. So, all you new people. Yep. I'm cell phone to... What? I lost my focus. Okay, hang on. Anyways, I was, what I got excited about is... Big Blue Nebiru is kind of coming to the scene here. And usually, and this is daytime, even though I got these crazy filters on here, it's daytime. It's like uh, 9 14 in the morning. Yeah, I, I feel that. I feel that, Dr. Doctor. You see it to the left, you see it to the right. A lot of times there's two planets, the big ones, blue on the right. And on, I can't even get the original. I can give you guys the original color of this thing. You can see up in the corners how dark they're starting to get. Now, I know it sounds kind of the same, but these things are so, they, they suck light in, these planets. So, so I use my laptop, and I go back, and I get like this little freestyle gamma. I call it freestyle gamma. Anyways, for you new people, I'll show you the x-ray. Here's a um, sketch version. I like that. It's so real. See the donut? See the hole? It is, right? Look at the little... You can't see it on my screen, but on the right of there, of that, you see that little black spot? That's something out there that we can't pick up with our eyes. I know. Well, and then they got me coming out here like a crazy man showing all this stuff. Yeah. You can see stuff happening all over. See that little. I'm gonna pull my little tool up. Let's see if I can pull my tool up. I got a little tool here. My pointer. Where's Garrison? Are you in the room? I'm still trying to get to your email and to figure out what I need to do to make you a moderator. Black as heat, right on. That is correct among the but now that I have my little pointer, my little pencil. But right over here, I put the planet. Oh, it's that here we go. Right here. See that little dot in there? This thing, I think, is something, actually. I don't think it's just a lens pair anymore. I think that's a moon. I don't know. I didn't see the whole thing. I didn't see the whole thing you were saying, uh, Ray. I'm, I'm coloring on my screen here. 
So this is part, I think, of my cloaking device against the elite, is I talk about Jesus a lot, and I'm always happy. Happy, happy. Yeah, they're messing with my, um, my little chat on the side, because I'll get one chat, two chats, and then all of a sudden, 15 will go by me. Leave God and be saved. Amen. So. That is very real right there. Now, that's a little dot I put there, but. See that right there? That's very real moon or something. Well, don't be afraid. In Jesus' name, there is no fear in this room. We took authority over it before people come in. Yeah. I like this filter more and more because you see the little white planets like that one on the right right there. Um, see, I'm looking through my cell phone more than I'm looking at the laptop because I'm seeing more. Man, is that tripping me out? Okay, guys, am I seeing this or is it just, you know, right here? You see this thing, how it comes up around? It's hard to, I can't even, I can't even mark it out on the screen. But it almost looks like it's something there, you know? But it might just be my great imagination. Let's see that. Amen, Julie. As long as you're right with God. And you better fear God or ask for the spirit of fear of the Lord to come on you. It is stuff going on in those skies right there. Well, that ain't dirt. Dirt don't hurt. That ain't dirt. You guys see the one over here? You guys are buffering? Yeah. Oh, one of the things I'm checking out my um, bandwidth, my son alerted me that it's not unlimited, unlimited. I said, well, didn't we order unlimited? He goes, yeah, but it's like one terabyte, I think, or something like that. like yeah 500 gigs yeah one terabyte yeah look at that little moon right beside it you can't see it with your neck you can't see it on the screen that is definitely a good capture yeah you know julian i, t I tell the people um i just feel this urge from the lord go hunting go look and i'll say where i'll say italy and i mean within two minutes i'll have whole planet on the side of a sun or something. Okay. Signs in the heavens. Let's see if we can see. We can see it. It's coming into... It's getting bigger a little bit, I think, that little dot, that little moon. I think we're a highly kept secret so far on. We're experiencing technical difficulties. I think we're kind of being hid by the Lord because I can't believe this thing ain't going viral watching this crazy stuff. 
Maybe my old school keeps all the real crazies away. No, that's the retro filter. Yeah, I figured that out. It took me a minute. <laughs> but it's interesting, right? Now, one day I was looking at a camera like this and through my cell phone online because it had like a certain filter. And I was like, I could do that on my computer to this video and get that effect. And all of a sudden, this planet wiggles through the sky. Now, this is some of the footage I lost when they hacked me about a month and a half ago. I got hacked and they took 500 gigabytes of still shots. I swear to you, I had that much footage of planets and stuff. I cannot produce what I'm finding fast enough. It's crazy. Then I have all you guys sending pictures in. I try to, you know, give a lot of time to that too. Yep, normalcy. So that's okay because um, somehow a lot of it was saved in the cloud and I finally figured out how to get it out, but it's hard to get out, um, especially with my computer, the way it is. So what I'm doing also, guys, is taking pictures of this with this bandy cam I use. It's a free deal. I snap shots and it just saves them in one folder I got. And uh, I'll do the forensic on this because this is going to be really interesting to see. I could do up to a thousand times the size of the of the photo without losing any pixelation. A thousand times. It's... So, like that shot right there, that blue shot's going to be very revealing because it really brings the red out. That dreamy looking or what? That freaky looking. See the little moon on the right? You can see it in that blue sky pretty good. I like this music. This is okay with me. So for those of guys out there that don't know me, I just put all these free songs I found in certain genres. I, I listen to them real quick and I just threw them in a folder. I downloaded them. And I didn't know what for because I never went back to them and I found them. So I started using them. And some of them are a little dark, but most of them are like this, kind of just piano guitars and stuff and wind and thunder. Thank you, Julie. Hmm. Burnt snowball. <laughs> the burnt snowball planet. Did that? Something just happened. See it go dark like that part of it? So if someone said, well, that's just a lens flare. I said, well, that's the best lens flare I can give you right now. You know, that's it. <laughs> well, I got supplies for three days. I got to get more candles, unscented, pure white candles. 99 cent store, they have the best ones. Hmm. 
No means half the battle. So were you guys here when the UFO came out of the sun? Let's check that. Sun's gone, but we might be able to see one underneath it. Hey. Yeah, it's gonna be like the Purge movie on steroids. It's when you're gonna know your Jesus. It's time to know our Jesus. Personal relationships. Yeah, I got food now. I didn't, but I got it now. Oh, look at that. What is in hanging? Focus. Come on. Focus. You can do it. The red thing is... Ready? It's some um, type of planet or spaceship or, you know, my imagination has grown since I've been doing it. Here's a sketch view. So, we've been kind of walking, we've been scoping this thing out for a couple days. I like this view pretty good. This filter on it. You'll see on the right of it right there. See right here, this little white orb thing right here has been coming out more and more. So, it's a planet, you believe? I want to believe it's a planet. So right, that little orb thing has been getting brighter and brighter. But you see, with my naked eye, I can't see that. With the filter, I can see that. But with my naked eye, I can't see that at all. Thank you, Julie, for visiting. We'll see you again. God bless. Sweet sleep, peace. Have a great night, day, whatever. I think it's uh, what I would call Istum, the little red planet. And I don't think it's one of Nibiru's moons. It's too red. I mean, I got a filter on it, but still, when you go to natural... Something just flew by, I was a bird. If you go to the original, where's the original? Take the gamma off of it. It's kind of more like that, that color. So when I throw my, the night, good night. No fear in Jesus' name. So when you change the filter a little bit, you get a different. So it's definitely a ring. And you get the filter just right. You can see some stuff, activity around it. We were watching that little planet right there come out. It's not dirt, it's not my screen. You know, and I'm on cell phone to the PC. See the top of that red ring right there? You see that little white section right there? Kind of like a little orb on it. You see it pretty clear. What'd you call it? The Scott Planet? <laughs> So I'm committed to showing any kind of signs I see in the sky. If they're just UFOs or weather balloons and we don't know what it is, I'll still show it until we figure it out. We're all in this together. No, but I'll see it because I watch his stuff. I just kind of go back every time he does a video find myself watching this crazy stuff. Jean Paul, welcome ninja. Yes, there is like a music. 
Hey, Jack Streaming. Thank you. You subscribed, I hope. Make sure you ring that bell. My Facebook is C for all channel. You just go punch that in and you'll find me. And I put a lot of stuff up there. I put notifications of these videos. Um, yeah, I try to make my videos so the writing's big enough to see it, but it doesn't take away from the picture. I do a lot of writing in my videos. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. <laughs> hey man, this is Seafood All Channel. Live. You never know what you're going to get. It's like a box of candy. You might get nuts. You might get cream. You might get the wrong candy, right? I don't know. I'm pointing at that little planet because I think that little planet's it's like, it's a big deal. That little white one on the right side of that red one. The red one's a big deal. It's a real big deal. <laughs> you get like, um, Get so normal to seeing planets that I talk about it like this is normal. <laughs> and then I talk about it to people that, that know me, but they don't know what I do, like all this, or they don't believe it. And they'll say, you really believe that? And I say, yeah, a little bit, <laughs> a lot. Yeah, I kind of like doing a show. I just ramble. I'm good at rambling and nobody wants to hear me around here no more. They're tired of me. Yeah, the, the red one's way big. Um, looking at the the feed, you know, the live feed, sitting back looking at it, it's pretty amazing looking. And I mean, a half a dozen people argue that it's just a light lens flare, but I don't think so. Yeah, so... I like to see this thing grow to like at least a hundred people in this room. It would be pretty cool. It's Taft, huh? Yeah, that's real. That little moon I can't see on the laptop. I could definitely see it in the filter. Some of those things flying by are birds. And then, if you haven't noticed, we got the dancing flags. Just out of the frame. We're at, we're at. Down here on the bottom. Oh, right here. I think it's a planet called Istum. They have different names for it, but it could be that they call Red Kachina too. And Blue Kachina is definitely here. <laughs> I thought you went to bed, Dr. Doctor. <laughs> you said something about that. Or is that somebody else? I did think the UFO coming out of the sun was kind of cool. So if you guys haven't seen the beginning of this thing, I point out what looks like a, a ray of light, but it ain't. It's just going coming out of the sun. It's actually probably parked in front of the sun simulator and it just comes out of nowhere. Yeah, I know. It's kind of like, okay, here we go. Let's see if I can do this. It's a red lollipop. Or a donut. Anybody got coffee? Look at the activity in the middle of it. This one down here is the one I like because it thinks it's hiding. I like this music. It's really making the show cool, guy. <laughs> it's like the DJ that don't know his own music is a great DJ. <laughs> yeah, I know. A chair in my sailor. Uh, earlier, the, when the sun was down, I mean, the sun was probably like over here somewhere. 
it exploded with the Sun Sim and I recorded it. So when I take all these pieces from these different videos, put it together, you gotta see a trippy, a trippy show. <laughs> but the Sun Simulator went like, okay, let me show you. Uh-oh. The sun was over here. Let's see, get my mouse up. The sun was over here. And it just went whoosh, across the whole screen because it was trying to hide this planet when it first came up down here. The planet just came up. So I got all that recorded and got about this far. And then all of a sudden the sun similar, the sun was kind of like this. So the sun was kind of like an angle like that. And the planet was like coming out of the cloud. The little red planet right there. And the sun simulator went, just lit the whole sky up. I said, I got that. Too bad, you can't take it back now. Anybody watch Jeff P's commercial on the Sun Sim? That's good. Prophetic worship. Now, has anybody noticed the little white planet moved so heat wave like 120 degrees heat wave it's freezing in California past me but that little white planet has moved guys it's orbiting it looks like No, I can't leave any of this, uh, uh, Ray. Everything's locked in. I can't go nowhere. You wouldn't have a show. <laughs> so after it's done, I'll look at my comments and all that, but I can't get out of here um, the way I got this set up. But I think that's a little moon moving, 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 moving. I'm going to leave that line, see how far it goes. I think it, okay. How about that, can you hear it? How you doing, Robert? We're looking at a strange planet in the sky with a little moon underneath it. And we are in Germany. That's crazy, isn't it? Okay, anybody new in the room, I'll give you the x-ray version. I do this. First, I give you the sketch. How's the sketch looking? Sketch is not so good right now, but there we go. Now, the newcomer to this thing we're watching, see the little white dot right down in here? And look at that, guys. Ain't that strange looking? That's just strange. That little white dot down there, not the one I put there, but one right beside it that's new that just came and it moved from about here down to here so I think it's a moon orbiting <laughs> this is strange indeed <laughs> no look at that it's like on a muffin top right like <laughs> it's like underneath it's a moon and it's still the red same planet Okay, let's go to another filter. 
So it just keeps getting weirder. So subscribe if you haven't. Join the craziness. We love it. God's showing off. He's showing us signs and wonders. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's tripping. I haven't seen that view yet. The white bottom. So it started happening when that little white dot moved around. Which could be a satellite throwing lasers on it, right? I don't know. I'm just saying. I'll make it sound interesting, right? Man, this... this Watching this stuff, you get one of those Planet X hangovers. I know something. That's why I'm going to leave this filter on, okay, guys? See, it's the light shining, that little planet there, that little thing. It might be doing something. Yeah, it has been a blast sky watching. Look at that thing. What in the world is going on? Arky, Arky, what's going on there? You think they're little ones got some light on it or what? Because all you see on the um on the laptop, it just gets a little bit redder. But on this filter, it's pretty trippy. I like it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's got a little hat. <laughs> Look at the ears on both sides. Oh, little orb came out. You see that little orb? Okay, guys, I got to zoom. I know. It's crazy. Well, I told everybody when I first started doing this channel, I said, you wait, when the planets get crazy, I'm going to come like a nutty reporter live, you know, like, check this out. <laughs> and I'm doing it. Now that's insane looking. No, that's actually pretty interesting. Ooh, I like that better. Who knows? It's that little white. It's that little white moon's fault. All that activity is going on. <laughs> yeah. What could happen is big old UFO mothership pull up. Yeah, the fear leaves, and you laugh about the planets. Because, you know, if you know Jesus, then you're okay. You don't know Jesus, you're wondering, am I going to die or what? And most likely, a lot of us are going to die. Let's just face it. Pole ship won't be fun. This is the channel, like, the, you know, things that make you say, Huh? No, my kids got the whole house occupied. <laughs> they took over. No, I have no room at all, man. You can crash on my couch, though. I got a backyard. You put a tent up. I'm not in the country, though. I'm in the city. Not city, city. 150,000. Little city. I'm from New York City. That's a lot. Yeah, little planet's moving. It's on the run, guys. It's okay, because I, I prayed it in. <laughs> yeah. Kind of knock us. Kind of knock you flying around out there. It is 9.45 in Germany right now. And we've been watching the Red Donut Planet. Istan or...
Sem amassar mãos, meus. Three forty-six. It's what twelve. Yep. Man, time flies when you're watching planets, don't it? Yeah. If you fly this way, the closest airport's uh, San Luis to where I live at. Santa Barbara is like um, an hour away, hour and a half away. San Luis is like a half hour. Why are you coming to California? You gonna try to dodge the earthquake everybody's afraid of? Hey, if God tells you to be somewhere, don't be afraid. Even though there is gonna be an earthquake, don't be afraid. He'll transport you. You'll be all right. Or you'll die and you'll be in heaven. You'll be with him, meeting us up in the air soon. Yeah, I'm about um, 40 minutes away, 45 minutes, maybe, maybe 50 minutes away. That'd be interesting. What? Again? Was TRB parked over it? Lasered it? No, I didn't, but I wanted to check that out. The little white one seems to be sitting there. Are you serious? I got a friend. His son uh, was the the direct guy that was over the divers to repair all that. So let's break it up again. That's crazy. Wow. Focus. Are they going to get out of there in time? Or is there going to be a break in the dam? Okay, let's go back. Let's go this thing out. Good night, Billy Bob. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Mary Ellen. I'm telling Dad. Stop it. <laughs> Good. Oh, my friends don't want to hear me. They think I lost it. I told them it's okay. When it starts happening, you can give me a call. Good night, Billy. Yeah, this thing hits the top of the page. I'm out of here, guys. Probably another 15, 20 minutes. Good night, good night. Say good night, Grayson. Good night. Give a church. How you doing? Welcome to See for an Old Church. Uh, See for an Old Church. See for an Old, See for an old Channel. 
the night ray. Yeah, we're just hanging out, watching planets come in, praying for one another. Make sure you guys thumbs up and subscribe. I'm gonna play around with these filters, see what I get. Thank you, Sarah. God bless you. Thank you for coming in with the presence of God on you. Hey, you can mess my night up any day. Good night, Ray. You're welcome. Well, what else are you going to do but sit around and watch the incoming wrath of the Lamb, you know? Jesus said he made all these planets, so might as well watch them. Yeah, definitely get the updates. So, um, anybody sees Troll Slayer, tell him his movie's going to go up tomorrow afternoon. If you see him out there, his name is Troll Slayer. Troll Slayer. He sent me one video. I so said, look, look at the planet in front of the moon. It was actually three planets around the moon. And I filtered it, and they come out. One stripe, the other two, one's black and one's white. And this is the night sky. So I'm going to put that video out next, too. And if you haven't watched the cloud video, it's called Cloud Monsters, UFOs, Planet X, that one. It's got the big planet. Watch that video. It's pretty intense cloud video. A lot of uh, weird demonic activity in it. And a word of God and prophetic word at the end of it. Yeah. You have been, you have been notified by the Most High that there's an event going down. Woo, Alarm 12 show. Here we go. Little bubbles. It's been fun, guys. I think I'm going to get out of here. This thing's almost to the top of the page. Go back and watch the whole thing, guys. It's worth it. Um, it was fun anyways. Yeah. Um, that video is very sobering. The word of the Lord on that thing is really a trip. It's um, the little foxes are going to be released. Hey, that banjo is cool. Okay. Yeah, my uh, premiere movie tonight froze up. I don't know if they released it yet, but they might have. They didn't want it to be a premiere movie, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. I'll see those big old billowy faces, like pungy faces with curly hair. Kind of crazy looking faces, all puffy and big eyes. Today I put up a, a video of clouds that had two or three dogs in it. It was only like one minute video. I said, I just want to show you my puppy dogs up in the sky. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen those. In that cloud video, um, there's one area I say UFO, you see that? Well, if you look at it to the right sideways, it looks like a demonic skull. It's, it's wild looking. What in the world? Helicopter? Yeah, I noticed that. Let's turn the gamma up, guys. I'll show you old school gamma. Uh, I can't get the focus no more. I don't know why. Yeah, 
screen. I want to see that hole again. That hole's kind of the whole show, too. Oh, look at that. Cam tray alert. Can't see it on here. So, oh, streaking Clem trail. You can't see it on the on the cam. Wow. Well, as trying to take me down. You guys still there? That was just totally weird. I don't know what happened. I have no clue. I'm the camera guy, the producer. I'm the grip. I don't know, everybody. Look at the little moon still there, guys, on the bottom. It's kind of moved over a little bit, I think. <laughs> so you start getting like Planet X loopy, you know? Like, how long you been up? Six days. I don't think I can sleep anymore. I think I was telling you the other night, I stopped sleeping. I stopped sleeping. Man, what the heck? There we go. Don't worry, guys. I'm trying to find a filter we haven't seen yet. So what I'm doing is manipulating the screen forward and backwards and using the filters on the phone, which gives kind of a, there you go. Kind of gives us some gamma. There's definitely a circle, I know that. And there's definitely, with the right filter, stuff inside of it. Yeah, I know. I've, I've actually seen orbs running around the edges of it. <laughs> yeah, the tweaker cam. <laughs> No, I actually, uh, that's not funny, but it, it is because between 12 and 13 years old, I was a tweaker on meth in New York City. And at 25 years old, I got delivered by the Lord from a TV preacher. Hey. <laughs> that would be a good, I'd probably get a lot of traffic from the tweakers. Tweaker cam. So you guys, it's been interesting, strange, and weird all at the same time. All right, here we go. Let's see if I don't lose my camera outfit. I'm gonna I tell my wife I'm gonna get a picture of me sitting here with a whole setup, and I'll make it a screenshot one night. You can see how high tech I am. <laughs> yeah, I can't get my camera back far enough on that one. See, it's getting so high up on the page. That my little device here won't let me go back. That's why I keep popping the phone. Anyways, folks, I had an hour and 34 minutes of pure bliss watching a red planet and a little moon. Talking about my Savior Jesus. And he ain't no baby Jesus either. He's a big Jesus. He's a King Jesus. He's my friend, my Savior, my Lord. And you got to meet him if you haven't. Because time's running out, right, Sarah? So God bless. And this ain't wrapped the news. This is C All Channel signing out. May the Lord be with you. And may the force help you. The Holy Spirit. Good night, guys. Love you, love.